Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog. Today it's me, Pierre Farugia, and I am in front of Adira Bay. Today we're going to visit Ahrash Kalmeli, we're going to go that way, and uh, we're going to visit this beautiful place. My main name today, because I heard that there is a place here, which is uh, Wallstone Beach, uh, that is going to get a development in it for the Red Cross which I found it a big question mark because when we try to camp here they told us because it's a Natura 2000 that we have to safeguard the environment and then to build in a such uh, virgin place I found it incredible but let's go and see how it is now and maybe what we'll lose in the future and what do you think? is this the right place to, to build? a place for the Red Cross. I have great, great sympathy for Red Cross, but I don't think here is the right place to do it. This spot here is very narrow, as you can see. But I'm holding to the wall, look how narrow it is. But if you fall here, it's not that, that uh, higher. But it's still big and nasty fall, so always take care. We are in front of the hotel what one day must has been it's late though we're gonna pass from here there's some net which is broken obviously we're going to stay at the peripheral and we're going we are not going to touch or damage anything eh? what this hotel looked like uh, must have been very beautiful uh, this must be in some kind of deck here with its uh, lead of facilities uh, look how nice it is eh? the stairs but my aim is to continue and go to that beach eh? but it's very very nice eh? yeah. So now I have removed my shoes and my socks because I have to pass from this part. Hope it's not too deep and hope there are no jellyfish. Oh, it's fresh, yeah, ma. but it's cold at the same time. I hope I don't go so deep because I have. I don't want to get wet my things, eh? especially I have my mobile. We made it to the other side, eh? so now I dry my feet and I can put my shoes again on. I have passed the water crossing and now I can walk freely with the shoes, eh? because without shoes on the stones it's painful. Eh? But this tracks well now, I am very surprised how beautiful it is. Eh? I have passed all the hotel area, the abandoned hotel. Unfortunately, metal plastics here. Somebody was carving like a, a cave in there. And now I have to go up the wall. So bear with me. We have some obstacles today, but I don't think it should be super difficult. <laughs> And we made it, eh? Some people told me to start diet and I think they are right. So I will have to find a way again. Eh? But it's not easy for me. I like food and I like proper food. But now we made it up and we can continue. Here we are still walking on the shoreline here, which I think one, one day was part of the hotel uh, because you can see some pumping uh, rooms and other structures here and actually it's a little bit a pity that a place like this can be ruined with structures like this and like that one and in the future they tend to build another complex here write in the comments and I think I know the answer 
what your view that you wish to see is something like this or something like this i am sure it's like this eh? i am sorry that today i'm grumbling a lot but something that is pissing me off is when i tell somebody oh, we need some camping space we need uh, somewhere we can recreate properly not for example having problem with hunters because it's close for hunting i know that they, they need their place but we deserve a place where we can come in public land not we have to pay a lot of money to go in other places and they tell you oh, well, that's small we cannot uh, give so much space to anybody so if more is so small why we build more like we're going to build here when this can be done in somewhere else already built they put some building down and they put some building up and this is preserved for someone like us who like to go camping, picnic, trekking, hiking or a day by the beach with their family in this area here I never been here but it's very beautiful eh? we are still making our way up to Wallstone Beach by the way I got some information from my friend Angelo Caruana which I go trekking with and he has a YouTube channel he also made a video of this place we are going today so go and follow him Angelo Caruana he's my buddy and a very nice guy up there what you can see is a World War II beach post that hopefully we can go and explore eh? on our way to where we are going today eh? to that uh, Wallstone Beach well from here we can see this beach poster I will show you better because against the sun there are where they used to fire rifles from and here we came to Limara Bay which is uh, if I'm traducing uh, good to English it's the bay where people drown but look how nice it is eh? Yes, I try to pass her all the way like this, her. maybe I find a way to go up her. look at this beach post, how nice it is. And there are, if I'm not mistaken, soon we will end up, there is the wall, her. a containment wall, which I don't have a lot of information for, one, so hopefully I will have to go up, then up there, and then I continue my trek. Eh? So now, let's pass from here. Eh? Here I have to take a little bit care because some rock are falling off and they can push you out. But it's amazing, yeah. Even to see how nice it is still. And here I reach at the end. Eh? Before I start to backtrack, I'll look how beautiful this bay is. It's the bay of Talemara. Up there I can see a wall. That wall that ends where the development is going to take place is uh, Stonewall Beach. And now let's head back. So I start, I find a way how to get up on the cliff. Eh? We have to pass from this part here. Eh? It's very nice. Eh? But one have to take care because it can throw you out eh? and into the sea. And today swimming is not part of the plan. I made it on top of the cliffs. I'm taking some care because it's very fragile. It looks here and here. I found a passage that takes me on top, and I and I can go and visit that uh, World War II structure up there. Look how beautiful this area is. Now we are going into the pillbox or beach post as it's called it looks very very damaged the ceiling has collapsed you can imagine these places here they didn't go down with bombing but they were destroyed by this era this is where they used to point their rifles and this from the outside and like this 
We are inside again, eh? and we can get out of here because it's a little bit dangerous, eh? but it's very nice. And a part of that is part of our history. Some engravings here. This is where they used to put their guns out. Or Maybe this one was six later. And yeah. This is the hole which I was showing you. Yeah, we have a very old date, 1881. Kyle and Keen, I don't know if they were old. 09, 07, I think. But no. Let's continue to our destination and I'm going to try to find a way up here. This is another angle from here. It's very nice eh? and I wish that this place remains pristine as is. Eh? And when you pass places like this, looks like a field there, a farmer's field. Always keep to the edge the most that you can. Eh? So we don't damage their crops or the field. Yeah? And Another interesting thing, I look. Here we find clay. Yeah? And uh, normally, what I, I'm not an expert, when the, there is this clay in between, it's very old clay. Yeah? Maybe this was some water container or wine or for cooking. Yeah? Always interesting to see, and as always, what we find, we leave for others to enjoy. Take care, passes, passing from such places, so you don't slip and fall off. Eh? What's the view? Sir? Beautiful this bay, eh? Lemar Abbey. Here we are on the other side of the bay, and we reach this wall, eh? this fortification wall. I never thought it was so long either, huh? but look how old it, it looks huh? with those big stones. This looks like these fortifications of the knights. Huh? It's impressive. Huh? Anybody knows about this, please comment below. Huh? And like this, uh, we are above the wall. Uh, there is this wall here, I think outside will go from under. And goes around like this, up to there. Huh? But now I will go down here so I can show you better. I found a pot to go down. Most probably carved by water. So I can get with this wall. I don't know why this fortification wall is here. Look how beautiful it is. Look how impressive this wall is. Let's go up and continue with this wall. Look how long and big it is. Impressive, eh? Could be there was something uh, that has collapsed or something like that here. What it used to protect actually here. Look how long it is. And here we are about 200 meters away from the development I was speaking about. Eh? And look how beautiful uh, this area is uh, here of the sea. This is the wall, are we still moving by the wall? It's very long, I think it's around 60 to 70 meters, I think long, and high about 3 meters. Eh? Uh, look how beautiful it is here. Here, there was a big arch. Eh? Amazing, yeah, this arch, how beautiful it is. Look, remember that we are at the Harash of Meliha, and as usual, Meliha never. Uh, Let's go down on history. Yeah? Uh, there's other places here. Look, 
Let's check this one. This wall continues on. Now how long it is? Maybe this was for water. Now we made it to that area that I told you is going to get developed. I not 100% what's going to be built here. But whatever it is, if possible, I don't wish it to be here. There is a jetty here uh, from Angelo's vlog. Somebody told him that most probably here it was done uh, part of a project so the Gozo channel can land here but was not feasible. So if you want more details go to watch his vlog as well. And here is also a special place for me because when I come uh, with Charin camping here uh, one of the days we always walk to this bay here and we go and relax to this part and enjoy yeah? and this is Wallstone Beach here. at the back you can see that uh, that wall up there and unfortunately now it is a building site eh? what a pity such a beautiful place turning into a building site. Eh? Let me show you a little bit deeper. This is deeper. This year I will go over here a lot so I don't get wet. Look how pristine it was here. And now it's a building site, eh? which is a big, big pity. Eh? I don't like it. Eh? Look how nice this area is. Many people come here. Eh? And when people used to come here with their Land Rovers or camping, they were either get a citation or get into hassle. And now, like this is not a problem. Eh? I know this vlog is crumbling a lot, but what's too much is too much. Eh? You already have too much buildings here. Yeah? If you look like this, this is a beautiful stone beach. And if you look like this, it is the Stone Beach uh, building site, eh? which is crazy, which is crazy. Imagine before you cannot do anything here, and now this is what we are having. Uh, look, look. In a so pristine site that we cannot even camp in. Eh? This makes me very angry. It would have been better if we had this road before. I could have come here with my car. Look. And this is everything in front of this historical wall. Then, if you look here, you know what's this? Either it's oil or diesel or hydraulic because the odor is very strong, eh? all here. And then we condemn people who does a bonfire eh, here. And even some people got citation here, eh? which is crazy when you think about it. Eh? Here as well are part of the building site. I found this very, very crazy. Eh? Let me show you from up here. Here somebody did a road. It's actually a building site, eh? nothing more. Look how beautiful and pristine this place is. Eh? With this containment wall here. Then you go here. We start walking on this historical wall. And here. We end up in a, a building site, as I told you. And this is for sure this site because there have been trucks of the Red Cross. I found it this a little bit crazy. Normally, I always uh, close my vlog. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. But today, I don't think I have to 
close it with hope you enjoyed this vlog because I'm not enjoying that much oh, to see all this uh, development here in uh, such place where I cannot even go camping eh? I found it this very untasteful eh? I will close my vlog like this sir as usual please help me by subscribing to my channel and go to on my uh, Instagram which is Pierre Faru Jamalta and uh, follow me there eh? and this is the building site we are great sweet eh, here which is really crazy in such a beautiful place where if i wanted to come i will get in trouble i hope things like this will stop eh? so now let's head back to my car and go home eh?